This episode has been brought to you by JustInform.com. If you're tired of being censored, tired of having your data stolen and sold, go to JustInform.com, a social media site where all voices are welcome. So, Mato O'Rourke has decided that he has no idea whether he's a progressive or not. He's, he said in a recent interview, I don't think I want to, I don't want to use labels. I think I should avoid caucuses. I want to work with everybody. Yeah, Beto, because that's what your label, your lobbyists tell you to do, to work with everybody, to get their legislation pushed through. And it's interesting because I'm sure right now, if you ask Beto, are you a Republican or a Democrat, he would have no problem proudly declaring that he is a Democrat, despite the fact that he supposedly hates labels. And it seems to me that he's giving these canned responses in order to avoid pushing away neoliberals and neoliberal lights who don't know they're neoliberal yet, but they're still doing everything in their power to, to be neoliberal. They're just using prettier words and calling themselves communists, even though they're really not. They have no idea what that means. And then he don't want to piss off the conservatives in Texas. If you call himself progressive, he's worried he's going to pull, push them away. Now, you only do that when you're preparing to run for something big. And because the media has been gassing this man, he believes that he has a legitimate shot to run for president. And he legitimately believes he can win. Despite the fact that he's a loser. He's a loser. You lost to the Zodiac Killer. This man is not only the laughing stock of his of everybody else, right? Of every other party, of every other affiliation. He's the laugh, Ted Cruz is the laughing stock of his own party. Of his own party. They know he's full of shit. And you lost to him. Ted Cruz has done absolutely nothing for Texas. And you think you have a chance to win? Come on, bro. Like you can't beat Ted Cruz in a in a in a legitimate race. I'm not going to say that it wasn't voter, uh, election fraud or election rigging. There probably was, but guess what? You didn't call it out, so I have no sympathy for you, and that makes you a loser twice. That means you're a loser who won't even fight for the votes of the people who voted for you. But I digress. It's weird to me that he won't call himself a progressive. It really is. Because that comes off, the way he responded, it came off as a polished response and you know what's interesting one of the things that was the most attractive about bernie sanders campaign was that the man never got a haircut he had like one or two suits max one or two ties same pair of shoes glasses that didn't even fit on his face correctly looked like he never went to a makeup room a day in his life wasn't polished in the way he spoke to people, didn't hold back when speaking about the, the prison industrial complex and how it disproportionately affects minorities, wasn't, he, he wasn't unclear about where he stood on how we treat our Native American brothers and sisters here in this country and how that needs to change. He had no problem calling out the military industrial complex and no problem whatsoever calling out corporations and their lobbyists. Ocasio-Cortez is like this as well. Rashida Tlaib is like this. Now look on the other side. Look at the polished candidates. The Beto O'Rourke's. Oil money. He has an affinity for the military-industrial complex. And he won't call himself a progressive for whatever reason. There's a reason you didn't hear about him until recently. If he would have endorsed Bernie Sanders, we probably could have considered him at least on the path to becoming progressive, but he totally avoided that. Oh, by the way, Tulsi Gabbard, same thing. Psh, clearly, she's not polished because, I mean, she just straight up called Trump a whole bitch on Twitter. Like, a whole bitch. Bend it over. Bend it over to Saudi Arabia like a whole bitch. That's what he, she said. Her words, not mine. Her words. <laughs> Shout out to Tulsi Gabbard. Um, you're a real one. But we also have the polish, like I said, more polished candidates. Come on, Harris. She says all the right things. Speaks in this very clear, 
I want to be, I want to whatever position is next for me type of manner. Kirsten Gillibrand, same thing. Cory Booker, same thing. I like my candidates unpolished. I like seeing my candidates clap back on Twitter. I like seeing my candidates refuse to bend over and capitulate to the establishment. Not dodging questions like, are you a progressive? Are you for progress? Because we have a Republican uh, mayor right now in Texas with 100% renewable energy in his city. That's, that's progressive. That is progressive. Believe it or not, that's progressive. In that regard, that Republican is progressive. And one of, the, one of the key pillars of progressivism is that you don't label yourself Republican or Democrat or liberal or conservative. There are progressives who are more conservative. And it's funny because I would actually consider Bernie Sanders a conservative-esque progressive, actually. Believe it or not, he's not the, the furthest left on that spectrum. AOC is to the left of him. Rashida Tlaib is to the left of him. So he's not even the furthest left. I would consider Bernie a conservative. He's just common sense. But he's not scared to call himself progressive. He can call himself progressive and sit at the same table as a Republican and sit at the same table as a Democrat. Without taking lobbyist money. But apparently that's not the same thing for Beto O'Rourke. Wonder why that is. You make it too obvious that you're running for president. And it's coming off as desperate. People, he is not our friend. He just looked at some polls and knows exactly what to say to keep his name in the running. But like I said, Beto is a loser who didn't even speak up about election fraud that was happening in his state, despite even the news was like, hey, we think there's some issues in your state. Yeah, I want to move on because I might need them to rig it for me next time. <laughs> Love to know what you think about this. Leave your thoughts in your comments below. And hey, remember more than anything else, people, find your balance. Peace. Thanks for watching that segment of Mikasa Sukasa. You can donate to our Patreon and keep helping the network grow by clicking on the link in the description below. And also, make sure you join us at justinform.com. And finally, make sure you subscribe to us on Roku and be part of the very first independent news network on Roku TV. But more than anything else, always remember, find your balance. Peace.